Hi, today I'm going to show you how to install and configure Mambo Merge so that you can add free mail merge functionality to Salesforce. There are five easy steps that I'm going to walk you through today. Step one is to install Mambo Merge from the App Exchange, which can be found at www.appexchange.com. Use the search bar at the top of the page to search for Mambo Merge. Choose the Mambo Merge and App Exchange option to see the listings. Select the entry for Mambo Merge. You'll need to click the green Get It Now button. You have to decide if you'd like to install in your production org or your sandbox. Today we're going to choose production. Check the checkbox to agree to the terms and conditions and then click the confirm and install button. You may be prompted to log back into Salesforce. If so, log in with the appropriate username for either production or sandbox. Then choose the install for all users option and click the install button. To take up to a minute to complete. When done, you'll be presented with the post installation instructions from our website. Click done to return to Salesforce. Now that we have completed step one, installing from the App Exchange, we're ready to move on to step two, adding the component to your Lightning page. Today I'm going to demonstrate with an opportunity, but you can do this on any record. Let's begin by going to an opportunity record in our demo org. I'm going to click the gear at the top of the screen and choose the edit page option to edit the lightning page for opportunities. Once the page is loaded, we'll see a list of components on the left hand side. The top has standard components, the bottom has custom. You can type Mambo Merge to find Mambo Merge. Drag it to where you want it to go on the page. When done, click the Save button. You may be prompted to activate the page. If so, click the Activate button. You'll have to select whether you want to assign this as an org default and what form factors to use it in. Finally, click Save. And now we can click the Back button to return to our Opportunity page. Here we can see Mambo Merge in the right sidebar where we just put it while editing our Lightning page. We can use the drop down menu option and then select Configure. This will show us all of the merge fields available on this type of record. On Opportunities, we have fields available for the opportunity, its account, owner, as well as opportunity line items, and even opportunity contact roles. Now we're ready to begin step three, creating a template. Today I'm going to use Microsoft Word to create a template. However, you can also use Google Docs or other applications that use the OpenOffice XML format. This document is an existing invoice for a previous opportunity I worked on. It's already filled in with the specifics of that deal. We're going to take this existing invoice and turn it into a template that we can use with Mambo Merge to create invoices out of Salesforce. We do this by replacing the, all the specific words relating to this deal with merge fields from Mambo Merge that we saw on the configure screen. Merge fields use Salesforce field names but are surrounded by curly braces. They're also case sensitive. Mambo Merge supports tables and repeats. Let's begin by deleting the second row. Then replace all the values in the first row with their merge fields. To ensure the repeat occurs properly, we need to add two special merge fields to it. The first will go in the last cell of the header row, and it indicates that that's where the repeat should start. In this case, we're repeating through opportunity line items. The second special merge field will go at the very end of the second row, and it indicates where the repeat should end. 
Finally, I'm going to use a special merge field that allows us to insert today's date dynamically. One more replacement to do of the name in the title, and then we're done with our template. We can save it to our desktop and use it in our next step. next step is to upload the template into Salesforce so that we can use it with Mamo Merge. Let's go back to Salesforce and click on the Files tab, and then the Upload Files button. Select our template from our desktop, and when done, click the Done button. Now let's click on our file, and at the top, choose the drop-down arrow to select View File Details. In the URL bar at the top of our browser will be the ID for this record. Go ahead and copy it. We'll need it for our next step, which is configuring the Lightning component in Salesforce. Once again, we're going to return to the opportunity record in Salesforce, click the gear at the top, and then Edit Page. Now, we'll select the Mambo Merge component and paste in the ID that we copied earlier. Click the Save button, and then the Back button to return to the Opportunity Record. Here you'll see that the Create DocX button now appears. When we click it, Mambo Merge will take the information from this opportunity and merge it into our template. As you can see, we now have a new Opportunity invoice filled in with all the information from that opportunity record, including the opportunity line items. And that's it. In five easy steps, we installed, configured, and created our first document. For more information, visit us at www.mambomerge.com. Thank you.